Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to be doing a Watt sold for this previous week, Monday through Thursday, which would be December 12th through the 15th. We're trying to get videos done ahead of time. So just swapping out the shirts and keeping on going, right? All right. So let me just go ahead and get straight to it. All right, I've got sales, let's see, on all of my four platforms, only one on um, Etsy to share. I have got to cross-list, y'all. I have not cross-listed in a while. I've just been so busy trying to process and just get these extra videos done, and I've just not been able to. But I think on our drive, I'm going to turn on the hotspot and maybe try to do a little, especially in the areas where we're getting 5G. Hopefully it'll work for me. But that's the plan anyway. So, but we're leaving soon on our vacation. Yay. All right. So, let's see. Had several for Mercari, which was good. This first one is an Intellect's Cozy Plush Pink Pig. They're stuffed with the, like, lavender flax something or other. Um, I think they're microwavable so that, you know, you could use them for boo-boos and sore tummies and stuff like that. Um, it sold for $13. Bandai Finding Dory Nemo Plush 2016 sold for $8. I list a lot of my low dollar plush on Mercari. It's actually probably, I think, Fees-wise, Mercari might be one of the best ones at this point. You know, they do have a processing fee, but their fees are 10% plus the processing, where it seems to me everybody else is much more. I'm not sure about Etsy. I don't really pay attention to that. I probably should. Toys R Us plush. This is a Wells Fargo exclusive type plush. It sold for $10. I think it was supposed to have like one of those... I don't know, bandanas or something on it. Cake figures or cake toppers figures. I pick them up at the bins a lot and I make these small lots. I took a best offer on this one of $6. Pick Me Pops. This has been listed forever. I don't think I would pick up Pick Me Pops anymore, but I did. One of those learning opportunities from the bins more than likely finally sold on Mercari for $25. Advertising plush. I don't think this was from my um, online estate sale. I think I picked this up actually at an estate sale. It's Travel Lodge. This is a cute little sleepy bear in his pajamas. Sold for $26. All right. Poshmark. I had two sales to share. Always pick up these little um, veggie tail zipper clip-ons and stuff like that. I've done really well with them. This is just a Bob the Tomato little clip-on sold for $18 on Poshmark. Jimmy. Love to pick up Jimmy. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. This one did. Who Let the Dogs Out? Animated Plush. Sold for $24 on Poshmark. And my single sale was a good one on Etsy. This is Twinkle Bears. I've picked this up a couple of times. Um, this one had a, some issues. You know, when I opened up the battery case, it was very, very corroded. But I cleaned it up with alcohol, um, got as much out, and when I put batteries in, it did light up. So that was a good thing. It sold for $89 on Etsy. All right, eBay. This is a... Uh, Reindeer plush. It's made out of the nylon material, like the Puffalumps, um, but it was by International Silver Company. Very large, 24-inch, sold for $13, best offer. I am trying to really push a whole lot of stuff out the door so that I'm getting ready to go on a big source. I need the space. Fisher-Price Shimmer Bug from Miss Spider. This is 2005. It did work. I have video of it working. It sold for $16. These boots I had listed really, really high. I think we picked these up at an estate sale or a yard sale for like $5. I checked comps. This 
seemed reasonable for used boots, even though they were in really good condition. So I went ahead and accepted an offer of $70 for them. This is a viewer sale, so thank you so much, Rachel. I hope your daughter enjoys this. This is Powerpuff Bubbles Girl Plush Trend Master, sold for $11. Hallmark, this is one of the stocking sacks. I've, I pick these up quite often. It's usually the, um, like, bears and stuff. This was the first, like, Dalmatian dog I had found. They are from the 80s. It sold for best offer of $15. Build-A-Bear, usually most of them are bread and butter for me. This one was a little bit better. It sold for $15.25. I tend to pick up almost most doll stuff when I'm digging through the bins at the Goodwill. You know, the shoes, the bottles, the pacifiers, anything that's doll related. And then hopefully I can figure out what, which doll it goes to. This one had numbers on the feet. I don't think I ever did figure out who it went to. Um, so I just give as much information as I can. Sold for $8.25. Wild Republic Red Panda. Sold for $13.45. Old Navy. I like picking up Old Navy or Jimboree. Those types of plush. You know, they were in the stores for a season or so, or they changed them out annually with different animals or, you know, decorated differently. Um, so I do really well with them. I don't find them very often. This one sold for $12 best offer. Now, if you're new to my channel, I don't do free shipping. So the buyer did pay additional for the shipping. Um, and most of the stuff I source very cheaply at yard sales, thrift stores, and Goodwill bins. Oh, and estate sales. Picked this Furby up, I think, at the Nashville bins. Um, ended up not working. It was missing an eyelash, but still list Furbies even if they're not working. This one sold the same day I listed it um, for a best offer of $15. This is a little princess plush doll from North American Bear Company from 2014. She sold for $13.45. Okie dokie. Love that brand. A lot of times it might be my bread and butter, but here's an example of something that sold, I think, really good profit. It was from 2018. Just very plain. I was surprised when I did the comps on it. It sold for $33.26. Petting Zoo, but it had nothing to do with the brand. It had everything to do that it's um, the color block pastels. It kind of was like a terry cloth type material. I didn't use that because couldn't re it's not really terry cloth, but it looked like it. I don't know what the right terminology is. I don't know. I can't remember the word. Somebody help me out. But anytime I see bears that look like this, I grab them. It sold for $29.95. It's not a new listing, so it sold right after I had done a delete and sell similar and before my sale started. Kelly Toy Bean Pals Plush Cute Dog. This is um, just very unique. Sold for $12 best offer. Great Wolf Lodge, a lot of times I talk about the raccoons that go to that series where there is a set of um, squirrels also. This is a squirrel in a dress, sold for $13.45. I believe this is one of the plush puppets that Shannon sent me in the latest gift box. So thank you so much, Shannon. This is Oscar the Grouch. He sold for $13.45. I still have... Grover up there. He's my favorite. More of the Lego minifigures that I bought in a bulk lot from the Savers in Cincinnati. This one was missing her legs. Probably was in one of the bags and I didn't realize it. Um, but still, I got $19 for the half a Lego. It did help that she had that little 
clear crystal thingy in her um, hand. Kids preferred Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It did work from 2014, sold for $13.45. Dandy Abominable Snowman, 12 inch, sold for best offer of $10. Trying to get the Christmas stuff out. Probably Robert picked these up at an estate sale. He's the one that likes to go through the books. Um, usually we pay a dollar or two for these types of books. I went ahead and kept them together. They sold for $28. They're Jessenius, Jessenius. Thayer's Lexicon to the Old and New Testament. 1970s. Definitely cookbooks, religious books, and bonsai. Three things we always look for now. Oh, and what's the other one Robert bought recently? Dungeons and Dragons. Now, this is kind of sad. I picked this um, up at an estate sale here recently. The same one where I bought all of the um, ornaments that were for the White House. So very recently. It was in a box mixed in with them. I didn't realize it wasn't one of them until I opened it up. It was Gail Pittman, which I know of. Um, her ceramic dishes and things like that because my sister always was looking for it at yard sales also. But the little tip at the bottom of the ornament kind of had some little chips and it was scratched on the back. Otherwise, it probably could have sold for maybe $25 to $35. I still got $16, I think, within two days of listing it. So definitely keep your eyes out for all things Gail Pittman. Fitz and Floyd, I want to say I only paid a couple dollars for this, but it was big, it was bulky, and it really wasn't worth a whole lot. It finally sold for $26.95, but Fitz and Floyd, Santa Mobile Musical, Merry Christmas. Little People, Christmas Trains, you all know me, I pick up all things Little People, um, I think I picked this up at like a consignment sale. It did have Santa and the reindeers and all of that stuff, but I split it all up. Listed it separately. The train sold for $14. I just picked this up at a hall, I mean, a, a estate sale. I think this, yeah, the same ones with the White House ornaments and all the vintage Christmas. I've learned stained glass anything definitely check the comps. This sold very quickly. It was just a nativity scene that hangs $26.95. I paid $2 for it. Dandy Panda, just unique. It was salmon pink instead of typical colors, so it, it, if it catches my attention, I'm going to buy it. $13.45. This was the bulk lot of Squishmallows that I bought earlier in the summer. I think I paid $50 for nine or ten of them. Um, they, eh. I've sold several. I've definitely made my money back, but it's just added to my I don't like Squishmallow plush feelings because it, it took a while. They're big and they just weren't as much as I had hoped. This um, Khaled, Khaled, Khalid, Serpent Snake sold for $28. Big plush. I just can't seem to stop buying them. And then I just can't wait to get rid of them. Got a best offer on this JCPenney Holiday Bear, 24 inch. Um, so I went ahead and accepted the offer. Bought a bunch of these type tapestry blankets, paid $3 each at an estate sale. I've sold several of them already. This was a Peace on Earth Lamb and Lion blanket. It sold for $30 best offer. I just listed this. One of those moments where you think, hmm, maybe I should have waited for a better price. But it's fast, it's gone. 
little four inch naked mouse hamster sold within a day I think for best offer of eleven dollars and twenty five cents cuddle wit when I go to pull stuff out of my building two years ago I started putting everything in the self sealing bags if it fits you know I have a large variety of them you know I just take my pictures write my stuff stuff them in a clear bag seal it and I'm done with it so I know when I pull stuff now if it's in um, clear bags that are twist tied um, I know they've been listed at least longer than two hours and I've been pulling a lot of them and it's I'm just so grateful that this older stuff is moving also and I credit all of that to end and sell similar every single month I'm just gonna have to keep doing it because I think otherwise stuff just gets stagnant and hidden and doesn't move cuddle wit I did go ahead and I had lowered the price trying to get some of my older stuff moving I got a best offer of $13 which I accepted just listed these I bought that like nine coloring books that had never been used all vintage from like the 70s and 80s I decided to put the pairs together that were the same I had Care Bears and Rainbow Bright and I think one more thing I can't remember right now um, but I sold this within a few hours of listing it I got an offer of $25 it was an international sale through the new eBay international shipping and I think off it's going to London so very quick sell my lolly I've got my other one there and then I just picked up another one um, at uh, an estate sale this week this one was in, in decent condition with a little bit of discoloration she sold for $20.66 now I bought a stack of plates at a um, yard seller and estate sell I don't remember I want to say I paid one or two dollars for the stack some of most I thought they were crazy daisies and I thought the crazy daisies were worth something but not really um, it's the glasses the crazy daisy glasses are the thing you need to be looking for, for from Corel but inside nestled inside these plates were these three and they're called solitary rose they're kind of a silver color and sold these probably within a week for $17.95 Tusculum College it's just right down the road from us this was an alumni sweatshirt vintage pretty sure it sold to somebody in Knoxville for $24.91 I know it's vintage because now it's Tusculum University where that shirt was Tusculum College Andy Griffith jigsaw puzzle I don't think that's been listed very long it was new in the box but the box I think had issues it was um, had marker on the back definitely had some wear I had a hard time finding comps there were other Andy Griffith puzzles but this one eluded me for a bit I did sell it for $30 best offer animal adventure moose deer plush I use those keywords this is smaller one 10 inches but I tend to pick up most plush that I find that are this ribbed sometimes they use corduroy but I, I always use the word ribbed they tend to do really well for me this sold for $15.95 members only I thought when I picked these up that they were going to be worth a whole lot more I, they're probably are some that are but the ones that we picked up weren't um, these sold for best offer this sold for best offer of $15 I had a couple of them and they've all been about that price Daniel Tigers I want to say I picked this up at my little favorite estate sale probably paid two dollars for it I think I had two different characters this um, Katarina kitty cat sold for $26.95 Gora Mariana Robert picked up a large lot of these I want to say this is the set we paid like $70 for but I could be wrong um, I'm down to just the last few pieces they sold so well for us this was a serving bowl sold for $17.05 
this. I think I messed up. I'm just going to admit it. And I, I'm pretty sure it was me, not eBay. This is Rockenbach. I bought a huge lot of them. I decided to sell the controllers by themselves, the control pad by itself. I think I did the keys, the little card, the little keys by themselves. And then I did a large lot of just miscellaneous blocks and stuff. Oh, and then a v it did have one vehicle that I sold. But I had three of these controllers. And I listed a quantity of three. But I think when I went, because I used flat rate shipping, I think I did not put on the second, you know, the line that says how much are you going to charge for additional ones. I think I missed that spot. So when I sold two of them for $17.92, it only charged shipping for one, which also went from first class to priority. So... I only lost like $2 in shipping, but I'm pretty sure it's my fault. So make sure when you're doing the multi-quantity and you're using flat rate shipping, it always bumps up with the second line right under your shipping amount that you need to fill in how much you're going to pay for additional items if more than one get ordered. Needlepoint, Christmas stocking, snowman, cardinal. Beth and I were talking about selling um, Christmas stockings, the needlepoint ones, and she had sold all of hers, and I was like, I've got one, and she helped me change the words around, and sometimes just moving stuff around helps, um, and I added the word cardinal, and then it sold probably within a week, $22.45. Animal Adventure, a cute little yellow dog, bunny ears, anytime I find like a dog with bunny ears or you know any other animal where they've added on um I, they tend to do well for me and i don't think it even matters what brand this little cute dog sold for eleven dollars and 66 cents sid sloth i think a lot of the ice age plush now are just getting harder and harder to find um this was just he was bendable from 2012, he sold for $22.45. Gund, Caritas, it says that right on the tag. Um, Teddy Bear plush, $27 for a little 8-inch plush. Anytime you see the Gund, Caritas, I think there's different sizes and maybe even different colors. Definitely check the comps. Kelly toy, but it was also Walgreens if you looked closely on the tag. I always try to pay attention to that because a lot of times you'll see Kelly toy in Walmart, um, just Animal Adventure in Walmart. So I try to pay attention to the tag so that you can, um, you know, use both of the brands. This one was from 2019. I do really well with Walgreens. Really well. This um, teddy bear sold for $15. All right, this was a, a buyer who bought two Snoopies from me. One was the just little five inch plush, $11.66. And then a Hallmark one that had like digital blocks, like pajamas on. So the two sold for $25.11. And I did give them a refund on the overage of shipping. Animal Adventure again, 18-inch white polar bear. I just recently listed that. I'm sure of it. Um, sold for $14. Best offer. Dairy Queen. Anytime you find these Dairy Queen plush Hanna-Barbera, there's a whole series from 2000. This is Wally Gator. He sold for $8.96. Pillsbury Cookbooks. This one isn't as good as the other one that I'm always on the lookout for. But definitely if you see this Pillsbury cookbook and you're only going to pay a couple dollars, definitely pick it up. It sold for $25.16. Dakin Cuddles Bear. There's several in this series. There's tan ones also. They're varying sizes. This is a 13 inch white one. Sold for $35.95. And then... Cal Toy 10 Soldier Plush, $13.45. Not really big dollar sales, but y'all, I am selling a lot. 
you know, normally I sell about 400. I think the last two months I'm getting into the 600s, if not more, um, just moving inventory. I'm going to go ahead and have Robert kind of do a tally for me on just how many things I sold that were like in my bread and butter range. I can share that information like I did last year because I think people would be amazed with how much items I sell that are like $10 or less um, because that's what I can find tons of and I sell tons of it. And you know what? It, it all adds up and it pays our bills. All right. This is my second or third video today. So it's time to go get some stuff processed now. Like I said, vacation. It's a lot of work leading up to a vacation, especially when you've got videos and trying to get stuff processed and cleaned and everything. But it's, it's also exciting building up to that trip too, because I know I'm not gonna have to do any of this, this for a while. All right, bye.